I was bullied a lot because I moved here in third grade from Georgia, so I was very different, I guess, from people here. The differences setting Christine Boney apart from classmates at her new school were the very things that brought her closer to other troubled teenagers within the Treehouse Youth Outreach Program. Are you Madison? Yeah. Hi, I heard you were coming. I'm Heidi. With sites across the country, Treehouse is based in Minnesota, providing teens a place of support and belonging, as well as tools to build resiliency, taking a faith-based approach. And when you enter Treehouse, just know when you leave, you will not be the same. Heidi Hall, director of the Mata Midai site located in St. Andrew's Church, says a lot has changed since starting their program eight years ago, though the mission remains the same helping teenagers work through aggression, anger, and depression, providing them a sense of optimism. Hopelessness does not discriminate. <laughs> um, hopelessness reaches all different people, no matter where you live, what you look like, what kind of home life you come from. The program, all donation and volunteer base, provides a space for teens to share meals and their time with the Treehouse team and other teenagers. Happy Valentine's Day, girls! They take retreats and have access to mentorship programs. Youth leader Galen Elmore, who gave up a career in football in order to serve, says being a mentor is often about dealing with the day in and day out rather than getting too deep. Give me two claps and a hush. <laughs> Having conversations with guys about, like, uh, shaving your facial hair or um, mm -hmm. why you wear deodorant or why you open a door for uh, a, a woman that you may or may not know. Um, those are the things that we continually do and occasionally they hit a life obstacle that's a pretty big deal and you get to walk uh, with that. The program sets goals for Treehouse teenagers with 73% believing they're capable and worthwhile while 80% have goals for their future. Christine, now an alumni, started Treehouse when she was 12 and still has ties as she approaches her 21st birthday. Where do you want to sit? Yes. She says her bond with Director Hall, who supported her above and beyond when her mother died in 2017, has shown her that Treehouse is truly like family. Having people in your life that genuinely care and don't just kind of say they care changes a lot and it changes your perspective on a lot of things.